beyond all knowing. The sea, the sea, which takes away the need to be anything, which mingles us with all the world, a sky of storm, an ocean of opportunity, and the land of repository of death. Within it we are diminished, yet its vastness accords many new lives. Everyone along the shore is silent, and all heartbeats synchronized to the throb of the billowing seas. The sea ignores the indifferent, swells to meet the tides of intellect and sanctity. It remembers the Lord who walked upon it, the spiritual atop the natural world. Life is lived under the guise of a voyage but in every moment it is a meeting place of your eternity and our surcease. We wandered deep into the world to find shelter when it ever entwined itself, hovering with the spirit closely over us, who is all of the all of life which is ever needed. In tension we lived each day, each moment, when unto our eyes, our tongue, our mind were given holy insight as to soften the harshness of the earthly world. Think upon the media through which our lives have flowed, through caves of impenetrable rocky mountains, caravans of endless deserts, and the eternality of the seas. None could consist in his own life. All life is your kingdom, whether we remain within it or out. It is all of you. Upon the Mount of Transfiguration, clear evidence was given of your supernatural person. Walking upon the water may seem less revelation, yet great fear struck your disciples who cried out in much terror, it is a ghost. Moses too and Mary, highly favored, were troubled by supernatural appearances. This will not happen again among us. Yet even the damned will have this encounter, a being so holy as to dissolve our being. Immediately you will say to your children, take courage, it is I, be not afraid. Perhaps our recognition will yet be spontaneous. All will be alien to our intelligence. Perhaps we will live much of eternity in perplexity, growing in friendship and companionship with one so other. Even that the human nature of Jesus will remove our fear and entice our friendship, will you not seem to be beyond all knowing? Peter sank and we all shall sink. It is a metaphor of our faithless behavior. We each hear the words, it is I whom you will come to fully know. Be not afraid. Amen.